There used to be a time where if people brought up Black Ops, I'd be remembered about the series with a smile on my face. Man, how the times have changed. Last Thursday, I watched the reveal event of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 live with all my viewers. And just like many of you, I couldn't help but feel left with utter disappointment. Now, I've never been one of those Call of Duty haters, quite the opposite. Where many people have bashed the series year in year out for several, often understandable reasons, I've never shied away from saying that despite all complaints, I enjoy these games. I've been playing them all the way since 2009, Modern Warfare 2 is still my favorite multiplayer I've ever played, and I used to be a fan of the Black Ops series as well. The first installment had an incredibly fun multiplayer, a zombie mode I spent hundreds of hours playing with friends, but what I remember just as well is that engaging campaign. It created the setting for the rest of the experience, while its memorable cast of characters and awesome twists on actual history during the Cold War made it a story that I remembered, despite its short length. I know I'll never get those days back, and don't get me wrong, Call of Duty has for a long time been in a state of decay, but I could always rely on the core still being there. It was the complete package. Sadly, this year marks a new low, a milestone in the downfall of the series for me. Call of Duty has truly become a shadow of its former self. There is only one way to begin this video and that's by addressing the elephant in the room. There is no, I repeat, no single player campaign in Black Ops 4. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, this is a straight up embarrassment. Call of Duty has always had a story mode, hell, the success of the first few installments was thanks to this aspect. 2018 marks the 15 year anniversary of this franchise and in all that time, single player was a standard inclusion, something you wouldn't even think about, of course that'd be a campaign. But apparently that's not the case anymore. What's worst of all though is the damage control I've seen about this online. Everywhere I look, people are defending this action, often spreading lies and misinformation just so others don't attack their precious series that delivered them such great memories in the past. They'll say things like, Black Ops 3 had a terrible campaign, why would you want to have another one? I can only read this kind of stuff with pure astonishment. Apparently, if something fails, you shouldn't want it to improve, you'd rather have it be removed altogether. Wasn't Treyarch supposed to be the most talented Call of Duty developer? Didn't Black Ops 1 and 2 have some of the best campaigns? I guess those just never happened. But that's not everything yet. According to these same fanboys, only 5% or even less of the player base actually plays these campaigns. Another outright lie, something you can immediately verify with just a minute of research. Let's take a look at the very first Black Ops. On PlayStation 3, over 50% of players have a trophy for beating the first mission, whereas around 26% beat the actual campaign. You might say, well, that was a long time ago, but the recent installments like World War II still share very similar statistics. Are these numbers impressive? Not necessarily, but did you really think that other mainstream franchises like GTA have any more impressive numbers? You'd be heavily mistaken. I guess that one should have its single player mode scrapped next time as well then. No, of course not. It clearly shows that plenty of people have cared greatly and still do about Call of Duty's campaigns. It's far from a reason to just not bother altogether. Do people actually want Activision to screw them over? That's the question I'm seriously beginning to ask myself. Billion dollar companies that have taken hundreds if not thousands of dollars from us are becoming even more lazy about earning it and what are we doing? We're embracing it. It's very simple, there is absolutely no excuse for a company with this amount of money, these available resources to not offer a complete package. I'll go even further, I find it dangerous what's happening right now, because guess what? If Black Ops 4 will sell and nobody complains about the lack of a campaign, you know what's gonna happen? It'll become the new standard and it won't take very long before we'll never see a story mode in COD again. What some people need to realize is that I and many others aren't merely hating on this franchise to watch it burn. The reason I'm upset about the changes is because just like you, I have these great memories and it sucks to see the direction that is being taken. As far as the multiplayer is concerned, there really isn't much to say. It looks uninspired, like a carbon copy of the previous game. 
simply keep some of the same specialists, cause why try to come up with completely new ones anyway, add a new healing and kill mechanic, switch the maps up, help downgrade the maximum team size from 6 to 5 players and call it a day. Boots on the ground is still being used as a way to somehow excite gamers, but I have no clue how they keep falling for it every time. I'll keep on saying that Boots on the Ground was merely an element of the greatest Call of Duty games, but it's not what automatically makes a Call of Duty great, and that's a pretty big difference. That being said, I'd be more personally invested in these complaints had I actually still been playing this mode, but I've been over the standard multiplayer stuff for a long time. Call of Duty is Call of Duty, it never has and never will change, and I've accepted that by now. There's nothing wrong with that per se, kills still feel satisfying and the core mechanics are great, but personally I just don't care about it anymore. I feel the same way about Zombies. It's a mode that many people love to play, but it's clear that Treyarch didn't even try to make it somewhat connected to the game's setting anymore. It's no wonder, after all, there is no single player to establish that setting in the first place. For the sake of creativity, that doesn't have to be a bad thing, but nowadays I find context in a video game something very important to actually make me care about what I'm playing. I know that's purely a personal thing, and don't get me wrong, you won't hear me telling others what they should or shouldn't enjoy. The hundreds of hours that I spent on maps like Kino de Toten, Shangri-La and Call of the Dead were fantastic and I'll always remember them fondly. But as time went on, the zombie mode became a standard feature in these games, while I developed new interests. At this point, I've simply let it go. There is one real issue though, and as always, it's the complete lack of content. Activision has brainwashed its fans for years into thinking that two maps is a fair amount to expect at launch, making the additional remake of Mob of the Dead feel like a treat we should be thanking them for. In reality, I'm sure they're laughing behind their desks, not being able to believe it's all they need to do with 3-4 years of development time available. While the entire event screamed disappointment, there was one bright spot, and I can't believe I'm saying it, but it's the Battle Royale mode blackout. I'm a fan of the concept of Last Man Standing, though I feel that both Fortnite and PUBG haven't been able to show the full potential of this new genre yet. Both in graphics, performance, but also ideas, there are many improvements that are yet to be implemented, and for a long time I've been wanting to see a massive AAA game tackle a mode like this. Now, originality is far to be found in all the other aspects, so I don't know if I should even expect Call of Duty to be the game that can make it true, but Black Ops 4 may be the first to show how it can also be done. The downside is that details are scarce, so hopefully we'll see more at E3. For now, I'll remain cautiously optimistic, because it's the one thing I can still cling on to for a spark of hope. It's been really sad seeing the series continue to be on a downward spiral. What was once the king of shooters is now a shell of its former self. The multiplayer feels like more of the same, Zombies doesn't even try to provide context, and Battle Royale isn't anything new. But the final straw is the single player campaign, shamelessly removed. Activision is doing the bare minimum to help this series evolve, knowing damn well that it doesn't matter, because regardless, the fans are already taking it and it's gonna sell like always. Forget everything you know, it couldn't be a more perfect slogan for this game. After all, by forgetting everything I know, I may have actually been able to look forward to Black Ops 4, but with over a decade of history and knowing what Call of Duty once was, I simply can't anymore. Thanks a lot everyone for watching yet another episode in my in-depth gaming series, I really hope you enjoyed it. I've tried my very best to put out this video as soon as I could, without trying to suffer in quality and I hope that has shown off. If you enjoy everything I do, then please help support me at patreon.com slash robingaming for just a dollar per month or more if you can miss it. You get early access to the scripts and these videos themselves, you'll show up in the credits and there's a personal Q&A video I'm posting tomorrow for you to check out. Of course you can also help me out for free simply by liking these videos and sharing them online or with your friends to help my channel grow. Any support is much appreciated and makes it possible for me to keep bringing content to you all. With that being said, I'd like to thank you a lot for watching and hope to see you again next time.